Hello traders, welcome to today's market update. I hope you all had a really good weekend and for those of you who are over in the US and Canada then it is of course Labor Day celebration so I hope you are still enjoying your weekend or your bank holiday. Um, as it is a holiday over in the US then we do have to obviously expect that there will be less volatility and less volume as we go into today um, especially with tomorrow being quite a key day within the markets that we're going to go over in just a moment but uh, yeah of course there is always stuff to trade it doesn't matter if we're in a tight range like this there are still trades that we can look to take if the price action does give us those opportunities today now one other thing i do want to mention just quickly before i start here of course other than that obviously please do hit the like button please do click the subscribe and please do drop a comment below to show your appreciation if you are appreciative uh, but in addition to that as it is a holiday in the usa then we are doing an offer today for Labor Day. Okay, so if you do go over onto toroscrypto.com and you go to the crew section over here, then we are offering £30 off of your first month crew subscription today. So if you do go over onto there and you click on the coupon code, you can add in the code LABOR. 30 click apply there and that will give you a 30 pound discount off of your first month membership okay so that is for one day only as it is a holiday over there in the usa uh, but anyway getting back to the charts bitcoin okay so we're just hanging around in this range here we're just hanging around a about this value area low of our whole range and realistically I'm not really expecting any major movement outside of that you can see here how on the past couple of occasions as we've got that bounce into the point of control we have seen those rejections and we also have a very key level just above that at $20,050 now not only is that your monthly open but it is also the midpoint the EQ of your previous week so if you take your high up here of last week and you take your low right slap bang in the middle of that at your monthly open almost exactly to the dollar is your previous week eq which is always a nice level to be looking at so this region here with your weekly open your point of control of the whole range your previous week poc being around that region as well by the way uh, your monthly open and your previous week eq all coming up within that region uh, it is going to be a very significant level that if broken we could see quite a substantial move to the upside however it has to be treated as resistance at this stage now that leads me to saying obviously if we are coming up into that region, you would be looking for short positions. However, we find ourselves now down at the bottom of this range here. We're just below value area and we're coming back down into where that previous week open, that previous week low was. And what we've seen recently is consistently, okay, higher lows being printed, okay? This is now the fifth time in a row that we are trying to pivot off of a higher low. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to hold. In fact, I do think that what would be preferable for myself would still to see lower prices okay and we've been waiting for this for a while but it's that 19,300 level that daily level that is a little bit lower that I am really interested in so if we can get a move down that takes us into this region then I would be very interested in taking a trade long from that point now if we do continue this trend of these higher lows and we can start to change this local market structure here if we go in onto the five minute time frame you can see here that we have a local downtrend that's really quite clean, okay? You can see a nice just clean line on the way down with your highs, lows, a high, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low. Now, if we're looking to pivot above this and we're looking to take out these highs here, then that would confirm a change of market structure, in which case you could be looking for a long trade that almost would take you back up to that, that key level around that $20,000, around that $20,050 region that we have been looking at. So this is something that I'm very keen on. Uh, taking a look at, at the moment and if we are able to reclaim that region especially if we can get back above our VWAP then that is something I would be looking at as a change of market structure in order to look for long trades so you'd be looking along the lines of okay let's say price comes up into here you get a little bit of a breakout you fill some of these inefficiencies from this candle so you get a push up on price you come back in into support and then we can be looking for continuation up towards that weekly open later on today Okay, so that's one idea that I am looking at currently and be aware, of course, at all times of your VWAP and, of course, where the session profile is at the moment. Price at the moment, just hanging around that POC. But once again, where does this come back up to? If you can get into that value area high and then see that retrace, that would confirm that break of market structure. The POC would be lining up around the golden pocket region 
look how nicely that starts to bring everything together and that's how you can start to get into this trade to reverse price later on today now if that fails and we do continue this downtrend okay then we know the levels that are below us and i would expect all this liquidity to be taken for a move down into that 19,300 region before we get any kind of bounce now uh, on the other hand if we can break through so I've covered the, the major resistance, the little long trade that you would look to take into that and then potentially be looking for a short later on. But if we can start to break through this region, then I'm really looking for a move up towards that 20,680 daily naked point of control that is above us, taking out previous week high and coming into that MPOC that we do have up there. Okay, so I don't think that's likely. I think if we are going to get that, it would be later on in the week. Um, it's really not, especially with the volume that we're likely to get today. I think uh, it's um, it's a bit of a stretch to think that we're going to get a move that comes, what, how far? 5% up from where we are at the moment? Probably not going to happen. But be aware of that as a level, especially if we do come into that region later on in the week. Uh, so that is Bitcoin covered. And I actually just want to go over some of the... Uh, the important um, times in the market that we can be looking at as we go into later on in the as we go into later on in the week, I guess that makes sense. Um, but over here, of course, in the crew section, I do do my daily updates. And today, as it is a Monday, I've updated the crew on all the important days that we all the important events that we need to be looking forward to as we go into uh, the week ahead. Now, tomorrow we do have ISM, ISM services PMI. Now, this is data from the USA on the total output growth and inflation uh, within the USA that is released at New York Open tomorrow. So I would expect not only do you get that flurry of activity coming from this being uh, basically the first the first trading day since the weekend after a bank holiday but we do have a news event that can uh, likely give us a little bit of extra volume into the market on wednesday we have the euro gdp and employment rates plus we have canadian bank rates and fomc members speaking but thursday is the really important day to be aware of okay so just before we have the new york open we have the european central bank main referencing rate monetary policy statement and the ecb uh, conference we then have Jero jerome powell speaking again just before that New York Open. So expect that volatility on Thursday before we go into the New York Open on that day. And then later on in that day, you have the gas and oil storage and inventories and the month-on-month -month consumer credit uh, data coming out from the US as well there. So Thursday is a very important day. I think if we're going to get some big moves, it is going to be then. Now, of course, on the trading update, uh, we did have an 80% setup that played out today. Uh, but other than that, it very much is a, a very small range that we currently find ourselves in. And my eyes and my attention are on the DXY. OK, so if we do go over onto the DXY here, we can see again. Where did that line come from? Not quite sure what I put that line on there for. Oh, it's just a fib. <laughs> OK, so it's just a fib. But basically, OK, we, we are still chopping around those 20 year highs. We did get that pullback as we took them out last week. So as we came up into those 20 year highs, we had that very brief peak above before it found support again where there was previous resistance. And we've seen that taken out again. Now, I do think that we're likely to put in a bit more of a distribution around here. Are we going to find that momentum starts to wane with these like three pushes into the highs? Or we start to come back down, we get a bit of a head and shoulders here with a change of market structure, and then that takes price down a little bit, which can give a rally into the market. That is something that I'm very much aware of, but you have to be treating this as an uptrend. It is a very, 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 very clear uptrend on the chart. And even locally, this seems to be gaining in momentum, okay? So we do need to be aware of that. However, we are within that region that is very critical for the charts, like I say, it's been 20 years since the dollar has been this strong. So you would expect to get at least a slight pullback from that, from this uh, 110 region, maybe down into the 107, which is what I'm looking for. That would give you a local golden pocket just down here. So if we can start to put in a distribution and we get that move down towards about 107, maybe that happens later on in the week. Maybe that happens on a Thursday where we are expecting that volatility then that is something I'll be paying keen attention to. Now, whatever the US dollar does, the market is always is obviously going to correlate to that. So that does bring us on to the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. So if we do see that the dollar does continue to push higher, then I do think that those lower targets down here on the S&P 500 could be met. Now, what I'm looking for on here is a move down towards that point of control, the 786 region and the monthly level. 
that we do have at 3,777 or 3,778, 3,800 round number. Uh, is what I would be looking for if we do see a further pullback here on the SPX. However, we are at the 618 region. We are within that area where you would likely see some kind of bounce. We have already seen a bounce from this falling wedge that was there, and we are creating a double bottom potentially on this chart. Now, if we can hold here and we know what the S&P loves to do, it loves to do these just like at least a double bottom, sometimes even triple, hitting that same area a few times, confirming it as support before it does get that reversal. I would be looking for a move up towards that other monthly level at 4,130, all the way up basically to fill in these inefficiencies here on the chart. You have a huge range of single prints up here that uh, I do think if we can see a rally, if we do see the DXY pulling back, then that is where price on the SPX is likely to head. And it's a very similar situation here on the NASDAQ, okay? We're sat around here just below that POC, okay, you can see it looked above that point of control a couple of times, sat around that 618 region. Again, if we do see the dollar continues to have its strength, then that takes us all the way back down to the lows of the range and then that starts to look really bad. However, if we can start to form a low at this region, then I think a move up towards that 12,980 region is very likely, okay? Uh, I haven't done Ethereum. I was going to quickly do Ethereum. So Ethereum not too much more to be talking about here it's a similar thing okay if we are going to get a move down then i would be looking for twelve hundred dollars on this so one thousand two hundred dollars which brings you into what was the point of control now if i just go over onto here you can see developing poc that has just moved today uh towards these highs so we've been hanging around this uh 1570 region for quite some time that has caused the point of control to move that now is the value area low so it is still significant within that 702 region and we do have a nice order block down there at the bottom as well so if we are to lose this region then that is where i'd be looking for some kind of bounce and if we are to get a move up then realistically it's that uh, 1675 to 1680 region that i'm looking at as main resistance okay the other lines that I have on here are two speed fans. All right, so what we have seen previously is from your low to your high when we had a change of market structure coming down. You could see that the speed fan, the 618, was holding price. And we've had a similar situation here. If we are to get a move into this speed fan, then I would at least imagine that to be uh, resistance for a while before we do eventually, potentially, break through that. Okay, so that is... Uh, yeah, basically what I'm looking at on Ethereum. In terms of the other altcoins, there's nothing really too much for me to be looking at. I don't, um, not particularly looking to trade alts. I am mainly, uh, like I say, Bitcoin, Ethereum, the S&P, the NASDAQ, maybe a little bit of Forex because the DXY is so important at the moment. And actually, as you come down here, those are probably the last two things that I do just quickly want to mention. The euro dollar having taken lows, okay, this gives us another opportunity for a trade counter to the trend. Now, this is still okay. This region is still okay. We're still within the right kind of area that you would like to see some, some reaction from this. Uh, so where we are in terms of this, uh, this harmonic is still, still reasonable, okay, here. So we did come up into the 382. We did come up into that first order block. That as a long position did hit take profit. And although this didn't happen at the time when I was at the charts, it was last night, I would be interested in taking long positions against the dollar on uh, at least as a counter trend move on the euro at the moment. And it's a similar situation here with the GBP. It is continuing to break down here, but we are starting to look at least at the very little to come into these oversold regions on this and are starting to form those local divergences that you would like to see for some kind of a reversal. Uh, finally, we do have Apple that is basically hit that final target down here at $152. I would love to see this reach target today um with uh obviously the legacy markets pulling back a little bit that is something that we could see uh, i would really like to see that happen and that would be this trade completed uh from my perspective but other than that i believe that that is everything uh, that i want to be sharing with you guys today i hope you have a really good day of trading and again for those of you in the usa uh just enjoy your day and um finally okay if you have not done so already, if you would like to take advantage of that 30% uh, 
pound off of the discount that we do currently have on the website then remember you can go to tauruscrypto.com which is linked at the top there and is also in the description below if you go over and click on the crew then you will get 30 pounds off of your first month of membership if you do come over here and you enter the coupon code labor 30 okay so l-a-b-o-r that is the american spelling l-o-b l-a-b-o-r uh, 30 on there click apply and that will get you that 30 pound discount i know it's a bit confusing okay we're using british currency we're talking about an american holiday but um yeah that's just the way it is so <laughs> thank you guys for watching uh have a great day and i'll catch you in the next video cheers bye